streets close to East London Mosque, the police closed in. But it was a scuffle with two men that brought things to a head. One in a blue shirt, the other in a red jacket, told them they weren't wanted in the area. As a police officer filmed proceedings, Kevin Carroll claimed he was punched and then he appeared to retaliate. Tommy Robinson looked on from the sidelines. What that just showed you is nothing like what happened. And Channel 4 News had the full footage of that incident. So why, when they pause it and freeze it on Kevin Carroll looking the aggressive, violent one? I'm saying you need to look beyond the headline. We're not going outside. Yeah, but we, we're not going to go outside. We're that we are not walking past. What's the difference? That's going to take you back. Sorry, if you just, if you just wait. The difference is we should get out of that. Charity walk. We're British citizens. Why can't we walk? If there's tensions in the community from the violent mob. If we'd have hit him, he'd be handcuffed. How come he hasn't been Yeah, but anyone, uh, yeah, anyone else not Why is he still standing? Not why has he been not been arrested for just smacking him in the face? What is going on? Why is he? Why tell is us he why he's not been arrested. He's not been arrested. He's just assaulted someone. Can you tell us why you're not? You're arrested? telling us we can't walk somewhere. They're just assaulting us. You're not going to arrest him. We will do. No, no, no. no. Right, no, 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 no. You're in the car, so walking. I'm walking. Unless you're going to nick him. Listen, 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 listen to me. Unless you're going to nick him for assaulting us. Right. Listen. Are you going to arrest no. him? Are you going to arrest Are you going to nick him for assaulting? Are you going to arrest him for assaulting him? You're not, are you? How can you not enforce the? How can you not enforce the law when someone's just assaulted someone? Can you listen to the senior officer here about I'm just uh, do the walk. direction you're trying to? We're doing a charity walk. We're just doing a walk. You're not going to arrest him for assaulting. We're doing a charity walk. How are you not arresting him? How are you not arresting him? We're just been assaulted. The man is still standing there. Look. We will deal with that. I'm dealing with you first. Why are you putting your hands on me when he's done the assault? He's done the assault. 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 He's
Can we just finish our charity Can we finish our charity walk? We'll go now. So you're not letting us finish our charity walk? We just take you over the wall. It's a busy road here. So you're now going to physically arrest us? Come over to the wall. Thank you. Let's just go to the building line. Excuse me, please. Thank you. So what we're saying now is... What yeah, we're saying now is, what we're saying now is, you are enforcing Sharia law. You're enforcing Sharia law. What we're saying now is, we we will go that way. We will go that we're way. We're telling so we you we'll go the way you want us to go, so we can finish our route. We'll, we'll go move, the way you we'll want us to walk the way you want us to walk. But what you just have to tell us? No, you didn't ask us. No, you didn't. No, you didn't ask us. What are you doing? What are you doing? What are you doing? That's not my phone. That's his phone. Under arrest. What are you doing? But that is that is my phone. Seriously. How is this? How is this? No, he got arrested. He got got arrested, so it's a property and when he got arrested, it needs to be booked what? under. If it can be returned back to you, it will be. This is ridiculous. What? This is absolutely how ridiculous. Am I, how am I going to go We haven't done anything wrong. No, the reason I just point away, because he was arrested for the case and was, 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 was in possession of it, then he needs to be booked in under that. Okay, somebody's in there, and I'll bring you in. Well, you're the sheriff's walk on our forces day, and we are being arrested. He just come up and punched him. We've been I've got it on video. I've got it on video. Okay, no worries. We'll try to do a charity walk. Do you want to know, first of all, whilst I was talking to you, he, he threatened me, which you ignored. And he come over and he said, he threatened us, which you all ignored. And then you allowed him to assault us. And now we're getting handcuffed. And all we want to do is finish our charity walk. The gentleman who assaulted you. Can we just finish the charity walk? Are you, no, are you going to let us finish the charity walk? Even if we don't go for the charity walk? You're not going to let us finish our charity walk? This is ridiculous. I'm not interested in that. I was assaulted. I was assaulted. I've told him ten times. And who did he punch? Who did he assault? Is this freedom in the year 2013 in London? Mike, Mike, look, that's, we've been arrested on our forces day doing a charity walk. This is year 2013 London. Because we want to walk. Unbelievable. This is one day for You get arrested because of other people. We've been arrested because you could make this up. I hope the world is watching this. I hope the world is watching this. We've got a day free. We've been arrested for doing a charity on our forces day. Look at this. Separate vehicle. Look at this. This is outrageous. This is unbelievable. We've been arrested for doing a charity. Oh, I didn't see the photo. Yes, Bill. Most of you may judge me on headlines. None of you obviously know me. I get judged a lot on headlines. I'll show you another headline. On Armitage Day, Remembrance Sunday. Clearly they were not searched before that demonstration in the same way that we are. Clearly, because they had lot canisters of lighter fluid. Some of the country's most radical Islamist terrorists, sympathizers and supporters, on Armitage Day, around the corner from a remembrance service, doing this. Okay? I was there that day, and I said, I went up to a police officer, how, how is this being allowed? You should have seen the public's face and reaction to what's going on there. British soldiers burn in hell, British soldiers burn in hell. The BBC, you want to talk about propaganda? The BBC did not report this, but one BBC news station reported this. I was arrested at this demonstration. I'll show you what I was arrested for. I was arrested for assaulting a police officer. Now you'll watch the video, which the police did not know I had a video of. You can see the video here. Substantial police presence was needed at a protest in Kensington. A group calling itself Muslims Against Crusades was faced with a counter demonstration by the English Defence League. A police officer station. A black flag that I grabbed, we all now know to be symbolic of ISIS. At that time, it's the black flag of jihad. It's what these radicals were. If you see anyone get their head cut off, it's behind that black flag. So I jumped over a fence. I saw a crime that was being committed on our streets, burning of poppies. Police were allowing it again. So I made a decision to try and prevent them. I was arrested for assaulting a police officer. When I get out, guess what? Headline went across the BBC, not just in Bedfordshire, it went Hertfordshire, Buckinghamshire, Oxfordshire, 
It went everywhere. EDL leader arrested for assaulting police officer. Okay? That's the propaganda. When I was taken to court for that, I was given, when, when I produced that video, if I, if I didn't have that footage, you'd all be talking about another, you'd all know of another conviction I'd have. And it would be for assaulting a police officer. Because that's, that's what the officer said I'd done, I attacked him. You saw I didn't. Yeah? So that's what most people, you judge on headlines, I'm asking that you look beyond the headline. There's usually a different story to what's gone on a lot of the time. I was subsequently taken to court for that. When I produced the video, charges were dropped. They come back to my house eight weeks later and re-arrested me again. I got charged with causing, causing those Muslim men, I caused them alarm and distress. <laughs> I intended to cause them alarm and distress. They, they, were they were causing our entire nation alarm and distress, and they were being allowed to do so. I received a, a fine seven times worse than the fine given out to them for burning our poppies. <laughs>